Hello, I am Amy Willette of Zuzi's Lamp Working Tools and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Zuzi's Texture Tool Kit. When you order a texture tool kit, you will receive a base and a box of long and short screws. You will also need a Phillips head screwdriver. We do sell some that have a magnetic tip to make managing and holding on to the screw easier. You can use your texture tool by itself as a tabletop masher similar to your handheld parallel mashers. This is great for freeform flat beads. At your local hardware store, you can get washers with a quarter of an inch opening to slide over the pins and use as spacers if you want to be more precise in the thickness of your beads. Let's look at how to add a texture plate to this base. Texture plates will add a design or texture to your finished bead. You simply put the texture plate on your base and use the short screws to secure it. You use the short screws when working with a single plate. Attaching the plate is easy because the screw holes are designed with a dish shape to ensure that they line up perfectly every time. This is particularly important with the top of the press as the bottom will be easily aligned with the pins. At this point your tool is ready to be used as a masher giving you a freeform shape with the texture design on it. The next option you have is to add a shape plate. Shape plates are available in many of the popular Zuzi tool shapes and allow you to make a consistently shaped bead with the texture as well. You simply add the shape plate over the texture plate and secure it with the long screws. When working with two plates you will always want to use long screws. Once again, the screw hole design will ensure perfect alignment. Now you simply lay your hot glass in the mandrel groove and use the tool just as you would any other Zuzi press. Our newest addition to this line are the word plates. Instead of a texture, you can now have raised text on your beads. You will order a frame plate for the words. This goes on the base first. You can order words individually. The word plates will fit directly in the frame. When you add your shape plate over the word, you now have a word inside a Zuzi shape. Again, you screw them down with the long screws for the two plates. You do need to screw down the bottom as well to prevent glass from expanding into the loose plates when pressing. However, I often only use one screw on the bottom as the pins keep it in place and one screw will hold the plate down. I always recommend using two screws for the top plates, however, as there are no pins to keep the plates from moving between pressings, and you don't want to have them come out of alignment, as that will make it difficult to place the top of the press on the pins. We have added two new shapes to our line to complement the new word plates. The medium plus tab is the same thickness as our other shape plates and is 21 millimeters from hole to hole. This will accommodate a three to four letter word. If you desire to make beads with five letter words or more, you will need to use the large shape plates or the second new shape we've added. The bar is designed to allow up to eight letter words. This fabulous shape also has curved edges to give it a sleek and slender look. You may notice on some of the shape combinations, you will see a line where the word plate and the frame meet. The glass is not sensitive enough to pick that up, so the bead presses as if the line was not even there. You can also use the shape plates on their own without any textures or words. The texture base press has a flat surface, so when using the shape plates alone, you will create a finished bead that has a flat surface, similar to the other Zuzi tools. Once you have your tool assembled, they work just like the other Zuzi tools you already use, giving you a perfect press every time, but now with your choice of words and textures. Please visit Zuzis.com for the complete line of lamp working tools.